So here we are, Phil and I, on our way to do Lorelei's first on-the-road book event. Oh, and do you want to go out on your own first, do you think? I think so. Uh, here's what I'll do. I'll read the part about when you came to Paris the first time to our apartment. Okay. And then at that point, I think I'll bring you up, introduce you. Or... Well, how about I'm browsing some books like that, and I go, oh, I went, God, Lorelei, I didn't know. We all laughed about it, crammed our bags into the corner, and, and before heading to a pub called, what was the name of that pub? Do you remember? <laughs> There's Phil. All right. The Punch Bowl. I saw it last week, actually. It was there. You were there? Yeah, it's still yeah. there? Do I you want to... was in trouble for a minute there. I thought he was going to say some nasty stuff. Some, oh. some scary <laughs> stuff about me and Steve. But I think we got away with it. We're in the South. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell the story about the fun police? <laughs> well, the, the fun police is like, stop your fun, you know. And it's, it was all the girlfriends at the time, so they... Uh, they came on stage. I forget what show that was. In New Jersey? Or? No, it was in Miami, uh, 1988, at midnight. And yeah. the ba and the uh, roadies actually got it, put us up to it. They went and rented clubs, Billy clubs, Jolly Copper hats. We went through all their road cases and put on all their belts and everything we could find. We were wearing like our you know little uh, uh, garters and things like that. And at midnight, the the uh, the crew organized the lights to go around like sirens and they played the sirens and all the girls came running out on stage to arrest the band and they're all standing there going what the heck's going on and I think Rick Allen was the most surprised because since his girlfriend wasn't there or somebody who wasn't there That's somebody the wasn't there actually. oh it was Sav's girlfriend right Juliana wasn't there right okay so Rick we we convinced Rick's mom who was 60 years old at the time to put on <laughs> flying gear and belts and hats and stuff like that and she's right there, and she, she came out on stage to it. She says, well, if I'm going to go out there, I better go arrest Rick. And he turns around, and he's going, Mom, what are you doing on the stage? That was fun. Yeah. yeah she came to the show the other day, actually. We played in uh, England, done a Donington thing, and Rick's mom was there, but she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> How did you, with all the, everything that went through, and it was really, really sad, how did you manage to maintain We actually, well, I think we, we experienced so much together, you know, especially with, it was shocking, the first person that we'd both ever met that had that, had that kind of experience, like the alcohol thing, was Steve, and it shocked us. It was like, wow, how can this be happening? And uh, I think, you know, that, that keeps you together, you have something in common. A lot of people ask us about the band, they go, well, how come you guys have stayed together for so long? And it's because we started off as boys. We've been through births, deaths, marriages, divorces, everything together. Huge success, really bad lows, career lows and everything. And uh, I think there's something that, that keeps you together. And the same thing with me and Lorelai, you know, it's, uh, we have a common ground with a lot of things. Memories. It's like emotional memories. When you invest in, in the emotional bank, the interest rises. Yeah, and, and you, you can relate to that person, so you have a, a special thing. Uh. We don't get to spend enough time hanging know, out. We did have a barbecue recently, but he, they're t they tour and travel all the time. Def Leppard have never stopped, ever since the beginning. For the barbecue, the, the tour and barbecue. Yeah. <laughs>